What's going on guys? Rushed you here and I hope you all have had an amazing 4th of July so far and uh, I know I have and for any of you that aren't watching this on a different day I hope you had a great one uh, but anyways uh, today we have a tutorial on how to install mods 1.6 and on because of the new launcher which I have right here uh, this will be Windows 8, but this will also work on Windows 7 and any other Windows as long as you can All you need to know how to do is get to your dot Minecraft now What I recommend doing is actually making a shortcut uh, And you just click on it and then your Minecraft dot Minecraft is right there But if you don't know how to actually do that um, What you're gonna want to do is click on this your little libraries thing Let me bring it over to my other monitor and then we're gonna click on it you're gonna type in percent app data percent that's how you find it on Windows 8 if you're in Windows 7 you can go to the little search bar that's down here where this Internet Explorer symbol is and then uh, but then you're gonna wanna click on dot Minecraft and everything is right there so the next place you're gonna wanna go is versions so here is your normal Minecraft now the reason that they changed like the reason that everything is changing for how you install mods is because of um, is because the um, like when you every time you open the launcher so I'm gonna open up the launcher I'm gonna drag it over here so I open up the launcher right now I have if I have it on default and I don't have anything else like I have I have my own profile for vanilla because uh, I'm just gonna keep it like that but then what you do is when you hit play on default um, I don't know why it's saying play offline but and then you click on vanilla and you just click play there you go and then minecraft opens up and there you go there's minecraft right so then uh, then what would actually happen is every time you were to launch your so if you were to go to edit profile you'd have to use latest version so your latest version would always show up right there and you wouldn't be able to update it every and it, it updates automatically every single time you log on unless you make a separate folder that you play out of which is what we're gonna have to do I don't know if you guys got that I got it but whatever switch so the first thing you want to do is you're gonna want to copy this and I'm gonna do this for mod lower and forge because mod loader is harder than forge now this time around so then you have a copy you're gonna rename it I'm gonna rename this test mod loader and you type that in actually you can't do that because when you do this there's no spaces so I'm just gonna do test so no spaces then you're what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna come in here highlight both of these uh, right click on them rename test all right, now you're going to want to open this up. Now I've opened this up already with Notepad before, so you're going to want to open this up with a Notepad. But then after you open it up with any kind of Notepad, you're going to go to replace. You're going to type in 1. Uh, 1. 1.6.1, and you're going to want to replace that with with whatever you called your folder and your two files. So mine is test. So then you're going to replace all x. X save. Now, what you're going to want to do now, since you have all of this, you're going to click on your test folder and then you're going to open up your jar and past this point. This is just like doing uh, the Minecraft dot jars. So sorry, everything is opening on this monitor, but uh, so we're going we're going to open up Mod Loader and we're going to highlight everything. I'm going to drag it over into there. And then we're going to open up Biosphere, highlight everything, put it into there, click OK, go in, delete MetaINF, yes, I'm sure, and then X out. So now we'll just go back to our .minecraft. So now we're going to open up the launcher once again. Then you're going to you're want to go to New Profile, and then you're going to name it something. So this is just going to be Mod loader test and then right here is you're going to use use version release test and that's going to be what it's going to be named whatever you named your folder and then you're going to click save profile you're going to go up to profile selection select mod loader test log in darn it 
fail. All right, you're gonna want to log in, and you're gonna play. Now it's gonna launch. Minecraft launched. There we go. If you go in, create new world, more world options. There you go. Generator dot biosphere. Now we'll just wait for it to uh, convert everything. It's gonna take a little while here because um. And it's going to be really laggy when I actually get in. It's going to be 30 frames because that's what I have my capture limit on. And that's why I had to stop using uh, Camtasia. Okay. Crap, I don't have permission to use the command. Hold on. I'm going to regenerate a different one. Create a new world. Creative. Um generator dot, dot, dot biosphere done create new world just wait it for a few more seconds to build the terrain um actually because this is going to be super easy there you go so then you generated you're on a biosphere uh i don't know why my sound's all the way down hold on shouldn't be all the way down whatever my sound's all the way down, but I don't care. Um, and there you go. You're generated in a biosphere. And this is... What, what is this? This is a plains biome for some reason. I think that's supposed to be jungle, but... But whatever. Oh. As you can see, it's super laggy when I record this with this. But when I record with Fraps, everything is super... So if we come down here, you'd see everything that's generated... There you go, there's a diamond and stuff. But yeah, so there you go. Now, if you if you mess up or you want to do something else and you don't want to use that one, you're just going to go back into versions, delete test, and then you're good to go. I think when you come back here on your launcher and then you do mod loader test, you're just going to go to edit profile and then you can just name it something else. So that's what we're just going to do here, because we're just going to use the same thing. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to do Minecraft Forge, so we can just get these out of here. All right, so now we're going to do Minecraft Forge. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come to this exact website. So the website is Minecraft Forge Downloads. It's files.minecraftforge.net. You're going to come to the top, Promotion, Minecraft 1.6.1 Installer, and then you're just gonna download that. Um, now, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna open that file. Once you get it installed, this little thing will pop up and you're gonna click, you can either install this on the client, install this on the server, or uh, you can extract it for personal installation. But next, you're going to want to just click OK and then this little message right here will pop up and it'll say successfully installed client profile forge for forge version 0 0.0 into launcher so now you see this folder here this is your forge you can rename it to anything you want you can just rename it to forge and then you're just gonna go into here you're going to hit rename forge and then you're going to open this up you don't have to edit these if you don't want to, but I like my stuff to look neat. So you're just going to open it, and you're going to click Replace, Forge, whatever it is. What was it? Forge. Actually, hold on. Uh, I think, okay, here it is. So you're going to replace this copy. So let's see. Replace that with forge and then replace all and then you're going to X save and then you're going to go into your launcher once again right here pull it up and we're gonna edit profile release forge forge test you're gonna go back to your dot minecraft you're gonna save profile you're gonna create a folder 
we're going to click new folder mods click that in there and then you're going to drag raise minimap into there and you're going to click play off oh crap oh I messed that up so you're actually going to want to do forge test and then you're going to click play now it's going to download everything that you need for forge right here as you can see it scrolling really heavily you can close the game if the launcher you can close the, close the launcher if the game started blah 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 all that stuff and then it says ray minimap activated and there you go so you got mods raise minimap just to prove that it works I'll get into a game play selected world and then you can see right there the minimap is up in the top right corner as I lag out of my mind but yeah anyways guys that pretty much wraps it up for how to install mods on Minecraft Forge and Mod Loader so I will definitely be keeping this installer for uh, till the end of time so anyways guys thanks for sticking around and uh, supporting the video I'll talk to you all later hope this helped peace Thank you.